Hello everybody, welcome back to The Evil Within. And they updated this game, like I said they would. Uh, they have added the letterboxing, which you can turn off now, which removes the black bars. I know it doesn't show here, but uh, I just tried in-game and it works. It also inc included a frame lock. So you can frame lock at 30 or 60. Which, uh, I have it at 60, but I'm, I'm going to record at 30 because I, I'm playing on the highest. And, <clears throat> like, I have everything on max. But, I I barely get 60. I get, like, around 50, 55. So, yeah. No point in recording at 60 if I'm not playing at 60. And I, I did hear that YouTube added 60 FPS functionality now. So... Future videos will be in 60 if the game is running at 60. Um, so without further ado, let's continue. I did play ahead, so I don't know if the cutscene actually did anything, but... Chapter 9. The Cruelest Intentions. And also, I'm playing on an Xbox One controller. I'm no longer using a uh, Xbox 360. Which is awesome. Although... The buttons do feel weird. The hell? <clears throat> Scarecrow. Uh oh. Oh shit. Was that someone else's memories? So no more letterboxing. <clears throat> Have a bad dream. I'm sorry if it looks weird now because you know, maybe maybe you've gotten used to the letterbox. But having a full screen display makes it a lot a lot better. Although well, my one reason why I actually like the letterboxing is because it kind of it kind of made areas smaller than they were. <clears throat> like with the letterboxing, with the letterboxing, it was like no, no, not that way, no. With the letterboxing, made everything like you know, made everything tighter. Is that Leslie? Please refrain from agitating the others. Oh, sorry. Can I go inside? There's no one in there! What the hell? <coughs> Excuse me if I clear my throat. You don't look well at all. I am very flimmy today. That song is, that song is so soothing. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, that's. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. Whose memory is that? It's like Slenderman's fucking son or some shit, dude. Jump scare! Holy hell! Alright. Thank you. That jump scare though. It didn't really scare me, I don't know why. I was I think I was I was expecting it. This isn't the whole place change. That's that's still a fucked up picture though. Alright. I I play way too many horror games to know that that was gonna be a jump scare. I was expecting it. Alright, so we you can look as if you'd seen a ghost. Shut up, nurse. Lucky, lucky you're pretty. I will slap the <laughs> shit out of you. Yeah, all the doors change. What the hell? I'm slightly scared, but also pretty impressed. This game looks even better in full screen. All right, so we got one key. I might as well open one. Open this one. Apparently, you can cheese in and uh, you, 
you can reload your save to get more like to get stuff you want. So I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I would like a syringe though, or ammo. I'll take ammo actually. Can I open this door in front of me? What the hell? This one. There you go. Oh, speak of the d <gasps> two syringes. You shouldn't have. Actually, you should have. You fucker. I need some ammo. I need some health. Sweet Jesus. Alright. That has some bright... Do I have a lantern out? I do. Put that shit away. What are you doing? This game looks so weird in full screen now. I'm not used to it. Okay. How do I run? Having a new controller just feels weird. Oh, really? Wait, what? Why is that locked? I'm gonna save because I feel like that's... Something's gonna happen. I wanna level up. But, um. Am I gonna fuck with this? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, this none of this applies to you guys, but. Recently, I've been noticing that my video has been like. has a lot of motion blur. And. It made, like, re very high motion. Like sequences and videos seem really blurry to s and hard to see. I was doing some. I was looking through my rendering settings and project settings and all that. And I noticed that I had to reinstall everything from when I started from when I uh, started recording on this PC. And I totally forgot to turn off freaking motion blur. Now some people like motion blur, but motion blur pretty much destroys your quality. Like it looks like shit. So. I'm sorry for like the last two years. No, I'm kidding. I think it was like at least for like f six months. I think the videos have been haven't been motion blurred, which kind of sucks. But I hope you guys can forgive me. I fixed it last night when I noticed I was recording uh, Sunset Overdrive. I was like, "What the hell? Why is this so freaking blurry?" Because you know, I, when after I render, I like to look at my videos, see if there's any like things messing up and whatnot so anyways I don't think I have enough to yeah 50,000 god damn I probably I don't know if I should do explosive bolts I do want to do I'll just I'll, I'll, let's do this I'll do sniper rifle ammo I could do syringe I could or should I do clip capacity I feel like clip capacity is such a waste. It's like 5,000 for one more bullet. That's really, that's really bad. I might do it for one of these, maybe. So you can hold more Well, this is cheap. Fuck it. Let's do that one. How much is shotgun? 4,000. Right, I can do shotgun and sniper. There we go. We have 1,000 left. What can I do? What are you, fire rate? Nah, not really needed. Reload. I could do reload for this. Critical. 20% chance. This one is 10. I'll do reload. I feel like critical would be nice for uh, New Game Plus. I am officially broke. <clears throat> and that sucks. Okay, well I don't see a freaking window. I'm guessing that to progress I gotta go through that door right there. Well, that's gonna suck. There was a thing. Oh, I didn't even see it. A state fire. State fire claims children, daughter, badly wounded. Where were the parents? Children playing in barn on Vic Victor Victoriano estate burned it in fire. Oh, is that where we're heading now? Daughter, 17, left in vegetative state. Sorts of fire undetermined. Oh, Lord. I hate going to places I don't like. I feel real. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick while uh, while it's safe. So give me a second. All right. Sorry for that. I, f I swear, like the older I get. The more congestion just 
gets in my nose. Ah, I forgot to, I forgot to put my humidifier on. <clears throat> yeah, that sucks. Alright, so I, I'm missing. I was looking through the, the collectibles. I'm, I'm missing a lot of collectibles. I didn't know that was there. I need to pay more attention. I mean, I'm trying to look, but like they're putting it in like the most like places where I've looked already. You know, they're just changing areas. I don't know. Nothing there. Nothing there. And this place is empty, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's continue. I think we have to go down this doorway on the right. My sprint's pretty good now. I would like to upgrade a little more. Wait. Oh, I'll go through that mirror. No! No! Fucking hell! No. No. Not that way. No. I did not want to be transported this early. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm turning back. Fuck this. It's a good thing I do. It's like in Limbo. <laughs> they give you an achievement for turning back. So, uh, I've, been, I've been reading the reviews for this game, and a lot of people, a lot of the reviewers have been complaining that this game technically has no story, and I don't know if that's true because I haven't beaten the game myself. Um, but they're saying that, like, a lot of the area. Oh, wow. That's a hole in the ground. Oh, okay, it doesn't go anywhere. They've been saying how like, oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, it's so weird having like playing on a new controller. Okay, no ammo for this. No, wow, well, no, I'm just have no ammo for anything. They were saying like the campaign is uh, you ba they basically just teleport you to to different locales and the story doesn't really progress. Like it's kind of I kind of feel the same way because I honestly we're on chapter nine and I have no idea what the hell we're doing. Like, I, I I like that, that my theory is, like, we're in Ru Ruzik's mind, and he's trying to, we're just playing along with what he's trying to try to do to us. Maybe he's trying to prey on our fears? I don't know. But, you know, I would like a concrete story. Like, who's Ruzik? What happened to my partners? Why is Leslie f crazy? Why are we here? What's the objective? Like, at least, don't you do that shit. I heard walking in the woods. Like at least in Resident Evil, you know, Resident Evil 4, you gotta save Ashley. What well, I don't know, what are we doing here? Like what's the end goal? I don't know. Maybe everything will be answered. I've seen that house somewhere. Maybe everything will be answered when we get to the end of the game, I don't know. Dude I don't wanna go in the house. But... Fuck. I hate houses. I live in a house and I hate it. The shit? Am I just- I, I'm literally walking through these, huh? So, I mean... I do like this game because it's- it's creepy and... I- I, I think the- the level design is really good and sound design is really good. Monsters are creepy. The fact that you barely have enough supplies to survive always like that's like my number one thing in survival horror games or just horror games in general that require you to like have resource management. I love I love the fact that you don't have you just have enough. You know you gotta you gotta manage your your bullets and your health in a smart way. I feel like that really adds to to the immersion of horror games. Like in the last, like Last of Us, it's not really a horror game. I guess it's more like a survival action horror, but not very horror horror ish. But like that game, like if you play that game on the hardest difficulty, <coughs> you kind of struggled. So you have to you have to be smart with how you play. Which I oh well, I guess I can heal. 
Which kind of lets it, like, it lets you strategize. Like, oh, I should probably start using my bow. Like, it, it really opens up the, the gunplay. And just, like, game mechanics in general. Because you're not relying on just pistol and, and shotgun and all that. I mean, those are pretty good weapons. And when you find ammo for it, that means you're, you're either going to be, like, fighting a shitload of dudes. Or they're preparing you for a boss fight. But when you when you do find the excess ammo... It's freaking awesome. Like, getting shotgun ammo for me in this game is like a freaking godsend. Because ammo is pretty scarce. Let's put back here. Why is all this here and there's nothing here? Oh, there's a shotgun? Oh, sweet Jesus. Even one bullet I'm happy to have. That's six bull. That's like six enemies dead. Right there. Alright, what else do we got here? God, my, f my throat is all phlegmy. <coughs> I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Okay. I'm looking to find a lot of stuff that I'm not noticing the first time. It is a lot easier to see your surroundings now that it's not letterboxed. Oh, there's a box here, too. Ah, there's some brain juice there, too. Holy shit. I don't see these things. This game is kind of dark, so... How do I get there? Walk through the fence. Alright. They're not really giving me a lot of ammo, so I'm not... I'm assuming we're not going to be mobbed to death. But... This game likes to surprise you. Oh sweet. Weapon parts. I only have two. Shit. How am, I, how am I doing on bow anyways? Not very good. What can I make anyways? I can make flash bolts. Those are really good for um those little baby bastards. Uh, I can hold more harpoon. I can't really I can only make harpoon and flash. I'll save my parts for everything else. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm taking my time. I wanna collect as much stuff as I can. Cause I'm struggling right now for resources. Last last couple sessions I botched. Like oh god, frame rate drops. This is kinda why I wanna just stick to 30 FPS. I might just switch it on. No, I'm gonna switch it on because the freaking the lag spikes are real. So oh I didn't have to restart, cool. At least, at least here it's, con it's consistent. Alright, let's go inside. Okay. Maybe it's, maybe it has to do with the letterboxing too, because with letterboxing, it has to render more stuff. Like, this game does look good, but you can tell it's not really optimized well. Hey! Stop, damn it! Oh, this was, this was in the, um. Another syringe, huh? This was in the uh the trailer or like they're in the they're in the, ha no, the what? in the house. And he's he would get freaking surrounded. I'm gonna go save. I know we just came out of a save point, but I ain't doing all that shit again. Alright, we got another journal. Or not. Crimson Post newspaper clipping. Tragic fire kills child. So I'm guessing this whole this whole chapter is about this child and the house burning down. Uh, tragic fire kills child. Nanny in Crimson City, February 11, 2012. Despite the KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts, a fast-spreading house fire took the lives of a young girl and her babysitter. Yesterday afternoon in the Park Ridge neighborhood of Crimson City. Oh, it's a, it was his daughter. That's... That's sad. Lily Castellanos, age 5, and her babysitter, Juanita Flores, 56, were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly consumed the single, home fam uh, single family home. Lily's parents, both detectives for the KCPD, rushed to the scene but were too late to save the daughter from the flames. The blaze, the blaze was finally defeated by firefighters after several, several hours, but the home was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but initial findings point to faulty electric wiring. Continued on page 8. Fire. 
That's sad. God, your daughter died? Why are we just finding out, finding out about this now? It's horrible. I knew it. That's fucking horrible. Don't you think you should use your green gel? You know what, nurse? You smart ass. I'll use what I want. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Yeah, how much green gel do I have in there? It's 3,000. Well, I might as well upgrade something. <sighs> if I could upgrade syringe, I would. Something tells me that syringe is going to go to waste now. Oh, 5,000. So close. What can I upgrade anyways? Grenades. Let's see what we can do. Flash. That's not bad. 7 seconds. Shock. Melee. I feel, I feel like melee is so useless. Fire rate. Reload. Accuracy. I might do accuracy. Reload. Critical. Is this 20% or 10? 10. Reload. I could do reload again. 2000. I could do clip capacity too. So let's. I'm gonna do accuracy because I use the handgun a lot, and I guess uh, I don't want to do fire rate. Maybe. Uh, all right, we're good. Save my rushman points. So we got the house level. Technically, not the hardest. Or the scariest, we'll never know. Houses houses to me are like fucking clockwork for Resident Evil. Seriously. How how many Resident Evil games take place in a house? Or like part of it. I mean Resident Evil 4 has a big freaking castle. That's technically a house. Just inside buildings in general. Open this shit up. Alright, so how do we get through here? Looks like we had to turn on three machines. Oh, we gotta follow the wires, huh? That one goes through there. Let's go, uh, let's go upstairs first, maybe. Hello? Anyone home? Dude, there's a lot of houses. There's a lot of shit in here. The tension is real. Well, the wire goes in here. Invisible dudes. Oh! The fuck are you doing here, man? You can't climb ladders, can you? Oh! Oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. Holy sweet Jesus Christ. Ho oh. ho. Alright. You, you piece of shit. You just shot out of nowhere. Holy balls. Oh, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Ugh. My face. Everything hurts. I wonder if I could run up to those guys and burn them, burn the body. Let's try it. Fucking Ruzik, man. Come on. I guess I'll just run around. I don't, I don't know what to do doing those parts. Because we gotta escape. Okay, let's let's not go there yet. Oh well. The hell is this? Lower safe dial. 
This old safe dial is marked with the number 039. Why are you... Why did you make me look at that? Is there a number here or something? Why, why are we looking at this? Oh, shit. That box. There's something I'm missing? Uh, okay. She has her hand out. Do you, do you need something? Oh, she's she is looking at something. Never mind. Hmm. I don't know what we're missing. <laughs> Who the fuck is out here? Hi. Please get away. Please get away. God, you're fast. What's up, bro? Please get the farthest fuck away! Get the fuck away from me! God, it would suck if he chases the whole freaking level. He probably does, doesn't he? Yolo! Come at me, bitch! Yeah, you switch directions. You shitbag! Oh, sweet Jesus! It's timed. All right, fuck it. Let's get this shit fucking started. We're not fucking around anymore. I gotta get shit done. Get the fuck out of here. Ruzik is on my dick. Let's get where we gotta go. No! Fuck. Let's get what we got again and get the hell out of here. Okay. Because he just periodic. PDR. I can talk. Periodically shows up. Freeze bolt. Thank you, God. Let's disarm this. Thank you. No, pick that up. Get the... Yeah, get that. Is there a typewriter here? Oh, shock and bullets. Oh, what is this? Oh, bottle. I wonder if I could just stand the ladder while he's... <laughs> while he's chasing me. That'd be hilarious. Ah! You fuck! No! You're a piece of shit! Back the fuck up, this guy behind me. Yep. Get the fuck on the floor. Jerk. Oh my lord. Oh, you were collecting the sundials, okay. What am I looking at? I don't know, I don't understand. Oh god, I was supposed to look at this. I don't know, what are we looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why, 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 why do I need to look at that? I don't know. Oh shit, sniper ammo. Please. Please get it. Thank you, Jesus. Reload. He knocked down my freaking axe when I tried to hit him. Okay, so we got the sundial up here. I guess we have to collect a shitload of those. There's probably those pres those pressure plates too. Not the pressure plates, uh... Like the cables are wired through here. So I gotta find whatever that does. I'm gonna go guns blazing. This part. This whole, fr this whole freaking section, because Ruzik's a douche. So where's the wire go? I thought a wire went through here. Oh crap. No, it does, yeah. 
Go to the wall. This some dark ass room. Journal. Okay, Ruzik's room notes. I saw her there. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlight. Eyes dark, pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crimson sunset, like a streak of blood in the waning light. Laura, of course, you couldn't be dead. Who the hell is Laura? My whole theory here is like Ruzik is, um. Sebastian's like counterpart or whatever and uh, Laura is Ruzik's daughter how like Lily is Sebastian's daughter if you know what I'm saying Hi, Mr. Candyman. I don't have I don't have goodies for you. I'm sorry. 